Welcome to the Mommy and Me Show. Woo! Welcome everyone to the Fonseca Mommy and Me Show. Today I'll be talking about Stockton Con Winter. What's Stockton Con Winter? Like, why is it winter? Because there's three seasons for it. Because they do uh, three, two different ones throughout um, the year. So there's another one. Stockton Con uh, Spring, Stockton Con Summer, and then we're talking about winter. Yeah, so on the cover for this Stockton Con, you have Wonder Woman, who just got towed by James Gunn. That actress is no longer that movie franchise. Sorry for that. Um, it's Fonseca, our producer in the back, doing his thing. Yeah. And then She Hulk, which I got at Stockton Con. Not only the number one original, thank you, Mr. Fonseca, but also the remake number one. And again, thank you again to Fonseca. It is the Stockton Con that keeps on giving. So, what does Stockton Con have to give to anyone who wants to go there? And where is Stockton? Stockton Con is in Stockton. That's great, right? So about uh, less than two hours away from San Francisco area. Uh huh. Oh, it is. I thought it was like two and a half hours. Maybe feels like that. It may seem like that, right? It's in the Central Valley Entertainment Destination. And what does Stockton Con have to give for all the folks that are here? Um. So they give. So there's famous people there, and um, people like they they can. Um, uh, autograph them and but also my dad um, is um, mended for Stockton Con that means um, if you don't know that means like that you you're doing like an interview stuff with like famous people so it sounds like your dad is basically going to be a host a panelist of shows and I think it's called Binky in the Brain am I right yeah Oh, are you going to be sitting in on that? Maybe. Maybe, right? And then there are some a couple of famous people, whether it be artists like Justin Greenwood, um, voice actors like Rob Paulson, uh, Laura Faye Smith, right, who does a lot of kids' shows, Mila Lee, another famous uh, voice actress on there, and we ha- uh, and so much more, right? But what is your part that you enjoy the most at Stockton Con? Um, reading famous people but also getting buying toys there because like sometimes like last time I was there uh, it was stopped in summer I met um, the actor of uh, Super Mario and um, he was one of my favorite Super Mario characters so I was, so I so I got a he autographed my uh, a photo that my dad bought for me no, you, yeah, it was out there in spring. So, yeah, there's authors, writers, podcaster, producer, web comics um, that you could go face. You could take photos with them. So, there's a lot of cool different individuals that come out. We just named a few, but literally, there's about, um, you know, almost a hundred different types of guests that are out there. And it's about just about $34 for people to be out there. Johnny Young is thrilled. Uh, he's been out there. He's done a lot of different um, works. Um, and like I already mentioned Mila Lee. Now, you've gone to Stockton Com since the beginning that it came back from uh, the pandemic. How crowded is it now? It's really crowded. Yeah, no, it was nonstop. Uh, you know, it's it was a lot really famous, right? And they have had other people who've been able to come, like Ed, um, Edward James Olson. Unfortunately, he almost, almost excuse me, um, but he got sick over the weekend. So we wish him um, a lot of good things. So you can follow uh, Stockton Con. They have a Twitter account. That has a lot of information that's on there, but and you learn more about Binky the Brain, voices from uh, Teenage Newton Turtles. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I'm talking about Rob Polson. He's the one who's a voice actor for a lot of different great things. Uh, but there's also wrestlers too, right? Yeah. Wouldn't when, you say Stockton has a lot of WWE fans over here? Yeah. So so many. 
And did you know that they're giving away uh, the Mandalorian wireless charge pad? No. I didn't know that, right? Uh, they just want people to follow them and share the post. That's really kind of cool that they have that. Okay, so talk about the toys. Uh, I think that is the biggest crowd thing that you're seeing at the Stockton Arena at 248W Fremont Street. So what toys are out there? A lot of toys out there, so like comic books, a lot of Marvel comic books, but they had no what if comics at any comics. Yes. My place. I was like, what the heck? Right there, and the, and because it's so crowded, right? There was a lot of people. Like you saw a Sonic uh, comic book, and then you went back, and what happened to it? It was gone. It was gone. So there's definitely comic books. But what did you come back to the hotel with? Which there is at a hotel right next door. What 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 did you come back with? With two comic books and a lot of Legos. Lots of Legos. Oh my God! Yes. What was it? Five dollars for each character, or five for twenty? Yeah. Oh my God! Uh, there goes that college fund. And then, would you say a little people are in cosplay or costume, or a lot of people are in cosplay and costume? A lot of people are cosplaying costumes. A lot of people are, right? Um, and Funko Pops, now, there's a lot of Funko Pops, but I notice your room on the molding around it. You have tons of it. Are you done with Funko Pops? Yes, but until you buy me one. Until but I buy you one, right? No, like, unless you buy me it. Do you think your dad's going to buy me the Ahsoka one? Funko Pop? Uh, yeah. Yeah. And then there's also people who have but old unless, toys. But unless it's sold. Unless it's sold, yes. It was only seven bucks. Not too bad. Not too bad. Just buy those Funko Pops earlier on, but set your limits, right? Now, one thing I kept mentioning to you over there, uh, there's this, well, what's one thing your dad was disappointed on? He was looking at some uh, hats, right? Trekker hats, right? Yeah. What? Label, they have labels of everything on there, especially Star Wars cities. Which one was he missing? Hoff. Hoff, yeah. So he was missing one of the, those cool, cool ones. One thing I'm a little bit surprised of how many jewelries are out there. A um, lot of old toys, but what's one thing that you notice mommy staring at? Do you remember? No. So I was staring at a lot of old comics and I kept saying, I got that one. I got that oh, one. Oh, yeah. I got that one. And what did I tell you? If you do not get a scholarship, work hard, apply yourself, get engaged, what am I going to do with all those comics? All, sell them. I'm going to sell them. Do you want me to sell them? No? Okay. you got to get some work to do, right? So you have to read hard, work hard, apply yourself, research scholarships, all that stuff. Because you could, you could easily waste a lot of thousands of dollars of money right at these comic cons yeah there is a lot right now the uh, the yelp review gives it a four and a half stars for stockton con right uh based on six people's reviews what do you think i think it's five out of five five out of five look at you five out of five should we do our scale five out of five versus out of ten yeah. Okay, we'll do, we'll do, yeah, we'll do the Fonseca review. Okay, sounds good. Any other things to let kids know about Stockton Con? No. Okay, and then word of advice for folks, please bring cash. You won't get taxed on it. Intent, oops, maybe the IRS is listening. And then also, if you buy more than one item at one place, shop everywhere, go fast uh, to see what you want. Give your kids a cash limit and negotiate if you buy like two or three things sometimes you get a, a sweeter deal right yeah did your dad like save 60 bucks when he bought three comics yeah he did he did that's how i got my number one all right so stockton con uh, one of the few comic cons in the bay area check it out especially if you want the merch until next time